Hello to all the friends of positive feeling. Today, I will take you on a spiritual journey into the heart of Buddhist philosophy, where we will explore the mysterious benefits of silence and liberation. In the heartland of the Himalayan mountains, there existed a remote and serene village called Anandapura. This village was a haven of tranquility, known for its lush landscapes, towering peaks, and profound spiritual legacy. At the heart of Anandapura resided a revered Buddhist monastery named Lotus Peak, which stood as a testament to the timeless wisdom and teachings of Buddhism. Within Lotus Peak Monastery lived a monk named Surya, whose reputation as a sage of remarkable wisdom extended far beyond the village. He was renowned for his extraordinary ability to convey profound teachings through the art of silence. His silent wisdom, rather than his spoken words, was his most potent tool for transmitting the deepest truths of existence. Surya had dedicated his life to the path of Buddhism and had honed his practice of silence to an art. He believed that true wisdom could be transmitted in the space between words, in the quietude that allowed the heart and mind to connect with the deepest truths of existence. One bright morning, a young woman named Maya embarked on a pilgrimage to the village of Anandapura. She had heard of Surya's remarkable wisdom and felt compelled to seek guidance from this silent sage. Maya's heart was heavy with the burdens of life and she longed for answers to the questions that had troubled her for years. Maya's journey to Anandapura was arduous with days of treacherous mountain terrain and nights under the starry sky. She was driven by the hope that Surya could provide her with the solace and understanding she sought. As she finally reached the serene village, she felt a sense of serenity enveloping her, a palpable aura of peace that seemed to radiate from every corner. Word had already spread of Maya's arrival, and the villagers directed her to Surya's modest dwelling. She found him sitting outside, his eyes closed in meditation. Surya exuded an air of deep tranquility, and his presence seemed to dissolve the anxieties that had plagued Maya's heart. Hesitant yet determined, Maya approached the silent monk. She waited for him to acknowledge her presence, and with a gentle inclination of his head, he invited her to sit beside him. In the embrace of Surya's silent presence, Maya found the courage to voice her inner turmoil. She spoke of her struggles, her quest for meaning, and the emotional wounds that had left her feeling lost and disconnected. Her voice trembled with vulnerability as she bared her soul to the monk. When she finished sharing her story, she looked to Surya, awaiting his words of guidance and solace. But the monk remained silent, gazing at her with eyes that conveyed deep compassion. Instead of speaking, he extended his hand, gesturing for Maya to rise. Together, they embarked on a silent journey through the village. Maya noticed the simplicity of the villagers' lives, their genuine smiles, and their sense of unity. As they walked, Surya pointed to the natural world around them, the rustling leaves, the clear streams, and the majestic mountains. Each sight was an invitation to embrace the beauty of the present moment. The two reached the village's spiritual center, a tranquil garden with a serene pond at its heart. Ducks glided across the water, casting ripples that spread peacefully. Surya gestured to the pond, inviting Maya to sit beside it. As she did, she was struck by the harmonious dance of nature, the water's gentle flow, the symphony of birdsong, and the blossoms that swayed in silent celebration of life. Surya plucked a lotus flower from the pond, its petals gleaming with purity. He handed it to Maya, who accepted it with gratitude. It was a gift that needed no words, a symbol of the profound simplicity and beauty that silence could reveal. The hours passed in wordless communion between Maya and Surya. She observed the monks and villagers practicing meditation, experiencing the stillness of their inner worlds and cultivating mindfulness in their daily lives. Surya's teachings through silence began to resonate deeply within Maya. She recognized that silence was not the absence of sound, 
but a space for profound inner listening, a space where the heart and mind could unite in understanding. With time, Maya's anxieties began to dissolve, replaced by a growing sense of equanimity and acceptance. One evening, as they sat in silent meditation, Maya experienced a moment of profound clarity. She realized that her search for answers had led her to a truth. Words alone could not provide the understanding she sought. The answers were not external but resided within her, waiting to be unveiled through inner silence. It was a revelation that filled her heart with gratitude and awe. As the weeks turned into months, Maya continued her practice, exploring the silent depths of her own being. She discovered a sense of connection with the world around her, an interdependence that went beyond words. In the quietude of Lotus Peak, she found solace, understanding, and an acceptance of life's impermanence. She understood that the power of silence lay not in the absence of words, but in the presence of inner stillness, a space where the heart and mind could meet in profound understanding. Maya's transformation was a testament to the profound teachings of Surya, whose wisdom had been conveyed in the profound language of silence. Her journey had led her to an inner landscape of serenity and insight, where words were no longer needed to comprehend the profound truths of existence. As the years passed, Maya remained in Anandapura, a beacon of serenity and wisdom in her own right. She had become a beloved member of the village, and her presence was a testament to the transformative power of silence and inner reflection. Over time, people from distant lands continued to make their pilgrimages to Anandapura, drawn by the tales of Maya and Surya. The village he had become a sanctuary for those seeking solacy and understanding, and its inhabitants embodied the teachings of silence, compassion, and meanfulness. The monks of Lotus Peak Monastery continued their practice of silence, embracing it as a means to deepen their understanding of the Buddha's teachings. They saw in Maya a living testament to the profound potential of silence, and they were inspired by her journey of self-discovery. One day, an elderly woman named Kamala, who had traveled a great distance, arrived at the village. She had carried the weight of a lifetime's worth of sorrow and questions, and she hoped to find answers in the silent teachings of Surya and Maya. Maya, now a source of wisdom in her own right, welcomed Kamala and guided her to the presence of Surya. Kamala's heart was heavy, and her eyes were filled with the shadows of a lifetime's worth of grief and longing. She found herself in the presence of the silent sage, whose compassionate gaze invited her to share her story. Kamala spoke of the losses she had endured, the struggles of her family, and the deep well of sorrow that had accompanied her throughout life. Her voice trembled with emotion as she conveyed the weight of her suffering. As she concluded her narrative, Kamala turned to Surya, awaiting his silent guidance, just as Maya had years before. In response, Surya remained silent, a compassionate presence filled with understanding. He extended his hand, signaling for Kamala to accompany him. Together they embarked on a journey through the village much like the one Maya had experienced. Kamala observed the villagers' simple yet joyful lives, and she found solace in the harmonious coexistence of nature and humanity. Surya pointed to the trees, their leaves rustling gently in the breeze, and to the distant mountains, standing as silent sentinels against the horizon. He invited Kamala to witness the world's grandeur, the expansive sky, the melodious songs of birds, and the serene rhythm of life. As they reached the garden and observed the lotus pond, Kamala was gifted a lotus flower by Surya. She accepted it with reverence, recognizing its symbolism the blossoming of wisdom and insight in the stillness of her heart. The hours passed in shared silence as Kamala began to experience a subtle transformation. The burdens that had weighed heavily upon her heart for decades began to dissipate, replaced by a growing sense of peace and understanding. It was the profound language of silence, 
the teachings that transcended words that provided Kamala with solace and a renewed perspective. Surya and Kamala continued their silent journey, pausing at the village's temple. They joined the villagers in their meditation session, and Kamala felt a profound connection to the community. The collective silence and presence created a sense of unity, a reminder that they were all on a shared path of understanding. As the days turned into weeks, Kamala continued to explore the transformative potential of silence. She practiced mindfulness, allowing her heart and mind to unite in profound inner stillness. Her journey of self-discovery unveiled a deeper understanding of the world and the interdependence of all life. One evening, as Kamala lay beneath the starry Himalayan sky, she experienced a moment of profound clarity. She realized that the answers to her questions, the solace she had sought, resided not in external words, but within the quiet depths of her own being. The profound language of silence had unveiled these truths. Kamala's journey had led her to a place of serenity, acceptance, and understanding. The power of silence had illuminated her path, and her heart had become a vessel of wisdom and compassion. In the years that followed, Kamala remained in Anandapura, a source of inspiration and guidance to those who sought her wisdom. She, like Maya, had become a testament to the transformative potential of silence, an embodiment of the teachings of Surya, and a beacon of solace for those in need. The village of Anandapura continued to thrive as a sanctuary of silence, wisdom, and compassion. Pilgrims from all corners of the world made their way to the tranquil village, drawn by the tales of silent sages and the transformative power of inner stillness. And so, the legacy of Surya, Maya, and Kamala endured, a testament to the profound potential of silence, the teachings that transcended words, and the transformative journey toward inner understanding. In Anandapura, the power of silence continued to illuminate the path of those who sought solace and enlightenment, reminding them that the deepest truths of existence often reside in the unspoken depths of the heart and mind. So my friends, our story is over for today. This story teaches us about the power of silence and reminds us of the importance of inner listening, compassion, and the quest for inner serenity to find peace and wisdom in our lives. It also highlights the power of silent communication and acceptance of impermanence to achieve a deeper understanding of our existence. Thank you for your attention, and please consider liking and subscribing for future content.